Hi everyone, my name is Joy Jennifer Juma. I'm the current face of Nakuru. I've been modeling for like two years now. Welcome to Meet the HR. Wow, that is beautiful, guys. We are right here with a model. And Kidogo, Kitambo Kidogo, we talked to a model trainer, right? And now we want to talk to the models themselves, not just Kuelewa, their career journey and what it entails. So, Joy, yeah. how did you know that you wanted to do modeling? Uh, I think I, I started modeling mm -hmm. back then when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, let's just say mm -hmm. uh, when I was in high school, I used to believe mm -hmm. that models were the most beautiful people. Aww. And so like I wanted to be like them because like when I was in high school, so many people were like, oh, you're, you're thin. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so like so bad. Mm -hmm. uh, people were kind of discriminating me mm -hmm. because of my body and everything. And yeah. like, I wanted to be mm -hmm. like other models because I, I felt like uh, there are thin girls out here who are so pretty and mm -hmm. they are being appreciated because of their body and yeah. how they look. So I wanted to be like them. So mm -hmm. that's why I wanted to model so bad. But then now I started modeling in high school. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't so good. Mm -hmm. uh, my first contest, yeah. uh, I wanted to be Miss St. Cecilia. Mm -hmm. Saint Cecilia. Uh -huh. um, the first, go. the first contest, I was not even given a position. Oh. I think I was among the last last people. Uh -huh. The the next year, I also tried. I was position four, mm -hmm. and then so uh, the next year I was in form four. I, I couldn't be allowed to contest. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, oh, in high school, my my t-shirt in mm -hmm. high school it was written Miss Kenya. I wrote oh, wow. it there because I was like, mm -hmm. one day I'll be Miss Kenya. Mm -hmm. So then after high school, mm -hmm. uh, after high school, I came to campus. Mm -hmm. Uh, the first week when I uh, when I joined campus, mm -hmm. everyone was like, "You're so pretty. You can be Miss Arvist." I joined Rift Valley Institute of Science and Technology, mm -hmm. so everyone was like, "You're so pretty. You can be Miss Arvist." Mm -hmm. But then other people were telling me, "No, you cannot be Miss Arvist. Mm -hmm. uh, you're first year. They mm -hmm. don't give it to first years." Yeah, you and now to... it was like a challenge to me. I decided to try it, mm -hmm. and you decided so to push yourself. The contest was on the second week after I joined school, I didn't even know the school. You where didn't even understand that thing. I wasn't even familiar with the compound. <laughs> yeah. But then I decided to try it mm -hmm. because like uh, people were saying oh, you can't get it if you're not like if you are a first year. So like mm -hmm. I wanted to try it because now that's a challenge. Yeah. So then I contested for Miss Arvis 2022. Mm -hmm. I was not the winner, but I became the first runner-up. First runner-up. And it was my first contest after high school. That was amazing. From high school, uh, coming out of high school, did you have any, any, did you win any contest? No, no. But now you come out yeah. and you get a first runner-up. Runner that is a very, very big deal. that was deal. my first big runway. Your first, first big yeah. runway. You know, what I'm getting from you is a lot of resi resilience and persistence. Yeah. If you're passionate about something, you don't have to stand down just because people have negative things to say about yeah. you. People have bad things to say about yeah. you. You need to rise above what people say and follow your passions. Yeah. Now, with the cultural... Um, heritage that mm -hmm. we have as Africans there's some things that we're not yet open to we don't have an open mind to particular things yeah. so how do you parents how do your parents take it when you tell them that modeling is your thing and they see you on all these runways mm -hmm. are they supportive of you or yeah you know I've heard from so many models mm -hmm. so many other models they are always like no my parents don't allow me to do this mm -hmm. they feel like um, I'm supposed to be studying yeah you know? but I can say I'm blessed and I'm so happy to have parents who support me oh wow I think my biggest fan mm -hmm. my biggest fan is my mom wow she's That's my amazing. biggest fan uh -huh. uh, and I think she motivated me and uh, she she made me believe in myself and mm -hmm. believe that uh, apart from class you can do other things that will make you great you don't have to it doesn't have to be all about school yeah you, know, you can find other things that will make you great mm -hmm. and so when i started modeling yes she was like my biggest support pillar she was there like during mm -hmm. this i used to break down For when real. i was feeling like maybe other people are better than me i used mm -hmm. to break down and she'll be there like not really physically but she'll mm -hmm. call me mm -hmm. are you okay talk to me mm -hmm. tell me just go there and give it your best i believe in you you're good mm -hmm. so i believe uh, what people don't know is emotional support is a very important thing mm -hmm. and like when you do things like modeling mm -hmm. I believe you need support from like your parents mm -hmm. the emotional support not even physical or like yeah. financially or whatever mm -hmm. like you just need that support like emotional support like my parents believe this mm -hmm. is a good thing for me and everything yeah but I can say uh, 
I'm here because I got that support from my parents. Mm -hmm. they, said they really supported me through this mm -hmm. and they feel like it's a good thing. Yeah, it is yeah. a good thing having parents support you because now at least you know you have their blessing yeah. to go and do it because there's kuna kwanga nako kavita kidogo with parents uh, yeah. when, it, when it comes to following passions because yeah. they were raised by the book so they believe yeah. kuna wenye bado they have not yeah. uh, evolved with time and changed their mindset yeah. about books but yeah. yes. So um getting uh, getting out of school yeah. you you're in campus right now? Yeah. Uh-huh. What are you pursuing? Uh, I'm taking hospitality. Hospitality. Diploma in hospitality. Uh-huh. And so, hotel management. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with hospitality, do you think that uh, modeling is something that you will keep on doing despite being in the hospitality yeah, field? I will because like modeling and hospitality, you know, modeling is more about giving back to the society. Yeah. It's not all about like wearing a crown, being pretty. No, it's about giving back to the society. Being a queen, mm -hmm. you have to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. You're just not, you're not supposed to be pretty and just sit there. Yeah. You should have a purpose. You need and more of it is about community and mm -hmm. giving back to the society mm -hmm. and so hospitality yeah and giving back to the society they mm -hmm. kind of they go hand in yeah. hand so i would continue i'm i'm even planning to contest for miss kenya oh wow Hopefully. it's it's going to happen for you you know you yeah. ulisha manifest kitambo when yeah. you had written uh, the miss kenya yeah. on your t-shirt and i believe yeah how yes I believe you're manifesting it and it'll it'll come to yeah. it'll work out in the end yeah. so you went to ca uh, campus mm -hmm. you contested and got first runners up yeah. and then what proceeded after uh, that i contested that was my second week in campus mm -hmm. so i contested i was the first runners up yeah uh, it motivated me because like there were so many people who were they've tried these things and mm -hmm. they were competing with me and yeah. i managed to be the first runners up so it motivated me mm -hmm. So then after that, immediately yeah. I had a face of Nakuru contest mm -hmm. immediately after we were winning first runners up Miss Harvest. Mm -hmm. So I had a face of Nakuru contest. Yeah. But then I was being told face of Nakuru contest is for people who have experience, mm -hmm. those big models in Nakuru. Yeah. You can't contest for that if you're not big in Nakuru, mm -hmm. like you have to be big. Yeah, you need to have a name. Yeah. And then I felt like I was so young because I asked someone and uh, that person told me the mm -hmm. current face of Nakuru, the one, okay former face of Nakuru. Yeah. Uh, her age. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't want to talk about her age. Yeah, but, but then she's advanced. With my age and I was like, like no, no, no <laughs> you no, can't do it. Currently, I'm 19 years by the way. Oh, wow. 19. Wow. And like when we were applying for the contest, mm -hmm. we were registered and they were like, if you're below 18, mm -hmm. you cannot contest. Mm -hmm. And I was. I was 18 at that time. Mm -hmm. I was 18. Yeah. So like the, I was the just, cut off. <laughs> the cut off. I was just there. Uh -huh. And so I was like, uh, I'm so young. Mm -hmm. Can I Maybe do this? Maybe they will not give me just because of my age. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the of. responsibilities will be too much. Mm -hmm. Maybe I won't know what to do with the crowd yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, I like trying things. I like challenges. Yeah, so you like challenging yourself. Yeah, uh -huh. I decided to try it mm -hmm. just to see where it goes. Mm -hmm. And then now, uh, after registering and everything, mm -hmm. uh, we were so many, and everyone in that circle, almost everyone, mm -hmm. like they had titles, like good titles. Oh, wow. And you just and have I your first runners up. First <laughs> up there. But then I didn't give up. I yeah. was just like, let me just try. If it fails, well and good, yeah. I'll try again next time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that's what happened. And then. Uh, after joining mm -hmm. Pambazuka, yeah. Pambazuka Entertainment, they mm -hmm. have a, they train models mm -hmm. before contest. Mm -hmm. They train you before like going for the shows and everything, mm -hmm. before being crowned. They train you on how to become a queen, mm -hmm. how to do your things after yeah. like being crowned and everything. So like um, during the training, I mm -hmm. realized it's something I can do. It's mm -hmm. not that. It's not complicated. Yeah, I uh -huh. can do it. As, I know I'm young, but mm -hmm. I can do it. Yeah. So like it motivated me. Mm -hmm. I tried. You kept pushing I think yourself. I gave it my all mm -hmm. because I really wanted mm -hmm. that crown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's how I ended up being the face of Nakuru. Oh wow! Yeah. A lot of resilience, a lot of passion, a lot yeah. of hard work. Yeah. You all, you need all that for you yeah. to become a beauty queen. Yeah. And uh, you have talked about training. Yeah. What training do models need to go through? Do I have to work out? Do I have like what does the training entail? Okay, me personally, personally, I don't work out mm -hmm. <laughs> and I eat a lot. Yeah. But then uh -huh. I feel being a model, mm -hmm. you need to be okay mentally mm -hmm. because you know you want to help other people. Mm -hmm. So you can't help people when you're it, not okay. Yeah, so you need to be so okay you need first. To be okay mentally. Uh -huh. 
Uh, another thing I learned, mm -hmm. you need to be someone who can show up at any time when needed. Mm -hmm. to, yeah. Uh, you should not be like someone who you have to be. I don't know. I don't know how to put it, but like you should be. You should always be ready mm -hmm. for anything. Always yeah. ready for anything. Mm -hmm. Always ready to help. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing mm -hmm. models need to know yeah. is being a queen. You have to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And so, like, there has to be something that you want to change in the society mm -hmm. that maybe you want to do it differently, maybe from the way people are doing it. Mm -hmm. You have to have a purpose. Yeah. So, like, uh, through these teachings and trainings, mm -hmm. um, I think I learned mm -hmm. uh, what my purpose would really be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, after being crowned face of Nakuru. Yeah. Uh, and, like, immediately after being crowned face of Nakuru, I promised to major on mental health. Mm hmm. But again, I decided to do a bit of environment because mm -hmm. I think like uh, environment is a very it's big, it's very yeah yeah. So uh, I decided to do mental health and mm -hmm. environment together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as a beauty queen, you can't just be there as a trophy just yeah. for display. No. You need to be disciplined enough so that you can you yeah. can make create change yeah, in I your remember, society. I remember when you were having the face of Nakuru contest, mm -hmm. we used to have meetings, mm -hmm. and I think. Uh, that was one of the biggest factors, like the biggest things they used mm -hmm. to to choose, maybe to crown us. Yeah. Because like they used to, we used to have meetings, mm -hmm. and then like they would give us time. Like you have to be here at mm -hmm. around this time. Oh. If you miss by even um, two minutes or one minute, mm -hmm. they won't disqualify you. But I feel like it, it was, was playing a part. Yeah. Uh -huh. in choosing or crowning us because we mm -hmm. were being told. You should be uh, being a queen. You, sh you should be disciplined. Yeah, discipline is a very big thing mm -hmm. in pageantry. You should be disciplined. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you used to have online meetings. Oh wow! And then like uh, they would mark the attendance, or whatever. Like how the many ones. people were here before? Like uh -huh. like immediately when the meeting started, they were already here. So mm -hmm. like they consider such things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's not all about. Mm -hmm. You know, how the, to walk, yeah, who is the prettiest girl in the room? You know how to dress, no, uh -huh. they consider a lot of things. Oh, wow, yeah, that is amazing, guys. We're right here with Joy, who is a model and the current face of Nakuru, and we are learning so many things from her. You know, uh, before we had this mindset when it comes to modeling, oh, it's just you have to be tall, you have to be this, you have to be that. We want to know if also that plays a part <laughs> in you becoming a model or becoming a beauty queen on the runway. But we're learning so much about modeling, and when you've got to create certain meets and misconceptions about modeling as a career i hope you're beginning to now demystify and now understand get a new understanding of what modeling entails now we're going to take a quick break but you're going to come back right here at mr hr so don't touch that dial